Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be covering append-only file persistence mode. Let's get started. To begin with, we'll add an entry in the git ignore file that is source star.rdb. So uh, it will basically skip any RDB files. And also, uh, we'll be from now on, we'll be having a persistence mode of AOF also append-only file. So we'll just add that also as part of the git ignore. And in configuration, we'll start accepting another configuration parameter that is append only. Simple. That would be true in our case, and we'll just ignore false. Like we for the snapshot, we are making it as false, so that from this point, uh, the the server runs with the append only mechanism. Then moving on to configuration, we'll actually start consuming append only like new parameter configuration like which persistence again append only true so that we can skip like we can omit snapshot so from this point the server runs in append only persistence mode so now if you can think of in code.js in the let me minify and in code.js in it we should be consuming that also and accordingly just add that specific if block and that if block would be config dot append only right for now, I'm just printing so persistence mode append only. That's it. Now, onto the persistence.js file, we'll be adding two more functions that would be similar to the save and load for the, uh, for the append only. So, to begin with, we'll have append AOF as async operation, the same command and ax, exactly what we call it in execute command, command and ax. So, we'll basically complete the loop over here. So, once we execute the command, we'll pass it down the same arguments to append only file so that it just appends to the AOF file. That's it. Now, we'll construct the append only file log line. So, that would be simple as command space operator ax and again, we are just joining because ax is an array type. Okay. Then later, if you see simple try catch fsp append file AOF file right so AO file I think we missed to add this over here so let's add that also so we can just do a path dot join and or we can just simply use okay what what exactly we added over here so yeah so we can do data dot AF that's it okay so now Append on append AOF. This function will be called for every command in the execute command. Where like this, this is the like where the actual command uh, executes on the server, right? And also in memory stores and all. Now this function will be called inside the execute command, right? In the code.js, like once the actual request is processed, and we need to basically simply call this function. That's it. Now we'll just try to wrap the other file also that is like replaying of AOF. This is like simply as loading snapshot things similar to the thing. So in the load snapshot, we are loading everything from the file and loading into the in-memory, right? Something similar in the in the replay AOF file, uh, sorry, uh, replay AOF function basically. We'll just read the AOF file again and rerun the same execute commands onto the actual server so that all the data, whatever it is there from the beginning, it gets loaded into the server. Now we'll begin with by writing a replay AOF sync function. Again, if you see here, it's sync because we should make sure that the whole data is read and uh, loaded into the server, then only we can accept requests, right? So replay AOF sync, then the first validation would be simply as first the append only file is there or not, right? First the append only itself is configured and if that is the case, then the file should be there otherwise we'll just return okay then it's starting with a simple try catch right and the first thing is first we are reading the whole file and convert into string you can challenge me this is kind of a vague approach because of course this is like a, a poc sort of thing right so in this mini project we are just using read file sync but what exactly you can do you can actually read it i open it as a stream and read line by line and accordingly you can split the commands and arguments and just directly execute the same command again you got the correct side so for the sake of our mini course i'm just using read file sync but the best practice is always used to uh, always is to use a uh, file stream right okay so then moving on to the so once we if you see here once data is there we are just splitting up with the next line right and I'm just filtering 
okay we get a proper logs then after that if you see i'm just iterating on that logs log entry first one in the array would be obviously the command and all the rest of the uh, uh, elements are arguments okay so by splitting with the space so once it's done i'm just simply calling execute command if you notice there is one small an extra parameter we are passing over here it is true i'll just come to that uh, soon so that's it so once we iterate for each log entry and we are doing execute command that's it simple so replay aof sync function will make sure whether the configuration is append only and the correct aof path is there then we'll try to read file sync instead of read stream but that's the best practice to use read stream and later if data is not there then just simply return else split the new line with and filter with a boolean just to make sure everything is intact like not to consider empty lines also right and later logger.info i'm just uh, adding a log and log entry iterating on each logs and command arguments executing so this execute command if you see it's kind of a call not kind of it's a callback function we're just passing the function over here right so that is called actually over here inside so I'll, I'll just show you how this is works when we try to complete the loop in code.js you yeah? so once it's done replay error successfully completed so all these things will happen when you immediately start the server also config i guess we didn't import it so let's just import that also and let's move okay i think this is the right correct place okay that's it now let's jump back to code.js over here in execute we'll accept another argument with default value as false right and i think we can just simply replace this line this logger line with this line so it will tell you whether it is running in the replaying from aof or not so if you can think of it by default execute command will just pass command and args and this will be false okay if at all like uh, if the execute command is actually triggered from the replay aof function right then we'll pass the value uh, third argument as true over here okay clear so then code.js execute command now instead of directly returning handler of args like the result of handler function we'll just first save it in result all right then if you see we are just having an if conditions checking if the configuration is append only and if it is not replaying from aof the reason if you if we if you don't pass this argument right it just basically reruns the same thing right it reads from the aof and keeps adding to the aof again that doesn't make sense so we should explicitly say that okay this execute command whatever this command is being executed this is from the actual request or from the replaying from aof uh, in a, uh, entry point yeah so that's why we'll make sure that replaying from aof is actually false then only we should actually save that to the aof otherwise it just it just the same duplicate keeps happening to the aof file okay so if you see here append only then replaying from aof not then AOF commands list. So if you see here, the ready server will accept all read and write operations. But if you think through append only file, it's only needed for all the write operations, right? So what we'll do, we'll just have the a set of commands. Now if you can see these are all the write commands currently we are supporting set delete expire and so on. Okay. Now switching back to code.js. So we are validating do it only for the commands which are write operation and save it and we are just passing the command and ax and just saving that's it that's all for the append only file persistence mode let's delete data.rdb which is not required and just to clear the stuff and let's run let's see npm start okay persistence mode append only all right and the file also it's not there right now we can just leverage our tests so npm run test simple okay so it will basically do all the other operation all the basic operations right so now once it's done if you can see data.af and the order of commands if you can see that will be exactly same as how we are configured in the test file okay so if you see set foo bar set foo del pool bar and on and so on right now the fun part so i'll just I think this is done now if you can see in the logs for all the writes 
right while just ha having a supporting log like if you see here received r pop and received l push and the following subsequent if you see appended to aof file r pop list 4 and if you can clearly see for l range we are not doing anything clear now if we start again all the data from the data.af should re-execute onto the server okay looks like it's missing oh yeah of course in the code.js we just added a log but we didn't complete the loop of replaying right we'll just add this simple line persistence replay async and we're just passing the same execute command so we're just passing over here simple okay and if you okay as soon as i saved it uh, i just started but let me just clearly show you once again delete this file all right clear this out npm start there's no file we are, we are not running anything over here now let's run the test cases again then data.af should keep loading with all the commands what we ran and then later i can show you like only writes right i mean what exactly what we configured over here these on only these commands will be saved into the data AOF, AOF. okay now i'll just stop the server and start it again and if you can see all the logs came persistence mode replay AOF started and if you see true this is nothing but it is loading from the uh, uh, all these comments are executed with the AOF uh, replay not with the actual comments right this is just for the uh, pattern the uh, thing this is vague but we can improve on this as well so replay AOF successfully completed and I guess el else is missed but of course it does work because it's like a normal simple if condition separately but else if is the correct way all right so that's pretty much it to sum it up on the init function we are consuming append only configuration also if that is the case we are just calling this one this will basically read up the file convert to string split with next line filter it out with empty lines and once we extract command and args we are just passing and this is very important execute command if we miss this then the duplicates will keep on adding to the AOF and it's purely kind of a recursive not recursive but again it's kind of like let's say if you run it for once and if you don't pass this one then for the second iteration it will be two and for the third iteration it will be four so it will be like exponential right and it's a blunder also so we should this flag is very important and and append OF is simple like as soon as we get the command we are just appending to the file that's it i hope it's clear make sure you hit the like button thank you so much for watching take care bye